What's up YouTube? Welcome to How Much Bitcoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna review the new Antminer Z9. This is the Z9 Mini. Before we start, I wanna say that I'm gonna do a giveaway. The comments that's most funny and gets the most amount of likes will receive some free Bitcoin cash. So don't forget to comment something funny and I hope you win. If you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, of course you have to subscribe to qualify. Now from the Antminer Z9 Mini. First one I purchased it was like $2,000 from Bitmain.com and they claim to have 11,000 souls on Equahash. They did deliver 10,000 souls machine which is fine, it's not as much as they claimed but it's still a lot. Bitmain, if you're watching this, don't be shy to uh, do a promotion and uh, sponsorship for my YouTube channel, okay? I would love to try out your products before everybody else. You know, you can always email me. Anyways, so to save you guys time, I'll tell you right now how much it makes, just to save you time. It makes between $16 to $17 a day. That's about $600 to $700 a month. It takes 300 watts only, which is nothing. That's really, really low for this kind of machine. And what else to say about it? Well, uh, it's probably more quiet than the big mining machines and it is smaller and lighter. Now, um, our A times might take a little while, maybe four or five months. It depends on how much you pay for electricity, even though electricity price is not really considered in this mining rig. Now, this is supposed to be a GPU killer and supposed to mine a lot more than a GPU. So we're gonna check that and I'm gonna do some comparisons to other GPUs to kind of compare and see how much this makes uh, and hashing power compared to other GPUs. This is my first time seeing this miner and I'm sure everybody else uh, gonna get it around the same time. Um, I ordered this through DHL and it took me like three days to actually get it because um, I had to pay customs and it takes time to the customs price to set up uh, on the website. So I had to wait a little longer and um, before I received this. When you open a box, always be careful and cut away from you. Okay, we have a little... Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think it shows some sort of a server certification. It shows uh, Z9 Mini 12 volts, 35 amps max. And uh, I don't really understand the other stuff. It just shows kind of like certification. I guess this is good for customs if your country is very specific on uh, what certificate this component requires. It has all the specifications here. And of course we have the paper here from Bitmain. Now this one is two pages. Usually it comes in one page. We have Chinese in one uh, page and then we have English in the other. We show the repair and the warranty and how to set up the miner. Of course, I'll show you guys how to set up miners here. And I'm going to put this on the site for now. And I'm going to take a look at this, read it out and see what we can do. And also maybe try to overclock it as well. I'm down. All right, so let's see. Definitely a smaller package here, a uh, smaller miner. It comes in an anti-static bag, which is a little different from the usual uh, bubble wrap. It has only one fan. I hope it's not too loud. First thing I do when I receive the new ant miner is give it a little shake. Um, I'm holding on to the uh, three boards here and then give it a little shake. I want to hear if there's any heat sinks loose. If they are, as soon as I turn this on, it will burn the board. So I don't see any uh, heat sinks loose. They're all glued really well. There are three ports here for VGA power and one for each board and then one more for the main board. So obviously you can run this from a very, very basic power supply that has four VGA ports and that's it. That supports at least 300 watts, of course. And we have a network cable in the front and we have an SSD slot and an IP reboot button and a reset button. We also see if there is a fault or normal operation and we have a standard um, 120 millimeter fan in the front. Now that we check out the miner, let's go ahead and set it up on my shelf and uh, do some benchmarking and see how much this thing can actually make 
and if we can overclock it. I would not recommend overclocking because obviously it says that Bitmain will void your warranty. So I would not recommend it. It's just something that I want to try out because we all know that difficulty goes up as uh, everybody else will get this. If I overclock it a little bit or as much as I can without burning it, I'll be able to squeeze out that profit for a little uh, longer or a little more uh, because it's really hot right now. This item is really hot, but obviously thousands of those is gonna be reaching thousands of people and then eventually this will be less profitable right so let's go ahead and test it out so here's our setup here's the little uh, mini z9 mini 10k uh, soles here and we have a 1000 watt by EVJ GQ very basic power supply and actually smaller than the G2 this is pretty much all you need I did plug in a jumper to it a motherboard jumper so it starts right away you can see the jumper right there it's a lot of times comes with the power supply if not you have to buy it separate make sure you have enough um, uh, VGA ports you need four at this uh, for this particular project I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and of course I'll plug in the network cable as well if you're planning to do overclocking I would say that you need a little more powerful power supply than uh, 300 400 watt of course okay turning it on let's see how loud it is of course the hot air goes this way I'm gonna go ahead and install a filter to protect the, the little machine from any bugs or anything that's gonna come in. It's gonna go to the intake to the back, it's just magnetized to the back. No screws, no nothing. You can find that on BitcoinMerch.com, it's really cheap, like 10 bucks or something. And you put it like that in the back, and now it will filter out the air. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in a network cable to it, and plug it into my Ethernet connection, router or switch or whatever it is actually quite loud right now let's let it restart itself and then we'll see how uh, loud it is when it's actually mining so my phone shows that uh, yep about 65 decibels that's pretty quiet it's not the most quiet miner I've ever had before I mean obviously the R4 the end mine R4 is more quiet um, it is manageable I wouldn't say it's nice to sleep next to um, but it's not as loud as S9 or anything like that so it's pretty quiet more like um, the S7 LP, I think. It was uh, a pretty quiet version, if, uh, if I remember right. It sounds about like that. Obviously, if I'm gonna overclock this, it will be harder. If we're checking the thermals here with the SIG camera, um, you can see that majority of the heat comes from the inside, of course. And uh, the, actually, the power supply barely stresses. There's no... Uh, sign of fan going on and the cable seems pretty cold and pretty good uh, when it comes to thermals So let's start by looking at what kind of coins can you mine with Equahash? So we have 10,000 souls on Equahash, right? So we can mine Zcash. We can mine Komodo, Z Classic, BitGem, Bitcoin Gold, Zencash, Bitcoin Z, Hash, Bitcoin e interest and Bitcoin private all those you can mine using one miner there's a big benefit for this first of all if you like any of those coins you can mine them directly and save them to your wallet to your specific coin wallet if you don't care about those coins you can mine you can use that power to mine it and convert it to bitcoins using a third party like nice hash even though there might be some fee or sometimes you might even make even more it really depends on uh, the current market if more people want that equal hash uh, power that means it's gonna worth uh, more to basically lease and then get bitcoins back I want to look at Zcash Miner. So we went to Crypto Compare and we went ahead and put 10,000 hashes and we are taking about 300 watts which will confirm it of course. And we, our cost is about 20 cents per kilowatt hours. We're making 540 bucks per month. That's pretty good. That pretty much means that I'll get my money back in four or five months. But it really depends on how uh, many people are gonna mine using this thing all right I also went to nice hash and I can manually put the configuration there and we have a thousand souls uh, 10,000 souls on equal hash and we're making sixteen dollars and sixty six cents per day so you can see it's a little less maybe it's better to mine on a 
pool that mines a specific coin but it really depends on the market and at the time of the mining to find the IP address I'm gonna go ahead and use advanced port scanner so I'll be able to put up that specific uh, Bitcoin address and start it and start to configure it to the pool so I wrote it on my browser you can use any browser it doesn't matter you can use it on a Mac or uh, Ubuntu or Linux doesn't matter as long as you find the right IP address Username is root, password is root. Our mining status shows you uh, 10,000 K souls, and it's actually 10,880. Not bad, pretty close to that, the 11,000 that we're looking at. Of course, it's gonna go to the uh, ZEC, I'm sorry, I'm checking, it's probably Zcash uh, miner, and it's gonna go to Antpool as the configuration. We're reaching about 61 degrees temperature on the chip, so I went real quick to guarda.co to open a wallet. I wouldn't recommend specifically this wallet service. It's just for me to really quick and make a wallet. The best way to make a wallet, of course, is a physical wallet or, you know, something that you know it's safe. So here is our Zcash wallet that I created. This will going to be our username for the worker name in the Zcash miner. I'm going to copy paste the address from the fly pool again it's up to you which pool you're going to use this is just one of the pools options for you to use and we're going to use the uh, port of 3333 and we have an alternative one too so i'm going to use the alternative one 33333 four threes and then the alternative one let's go ahead and save and apply now this will take five minutes to start again don't freak out if it doesn't work if it takes let's say more than 20 minutes oh you can hear it if it takes more than 20 minutes to hash that means you put something wrong on the URL and it doesn't log in so make sure that to rechange the configuration if it takes too long did you guys notice how my camera changed so what happened is I have an integrated camera and I have my Logitech HD camera and when I set up a new wallet on Guarda I think it activated my integrated camera on my laptop maybe to take a picture of me to connect it to my wallet it's kind of weird but you know maybe an extra security if something happens to your wallet maybe you can recover it this way anyways that's what happened and this is why you saw me a little different there now I also noticed that in the passwords it's very important to put nothing there because if you put a number I put one to three before because that's what I'm used to but if you put a number in there that's gonna change the difficulty for the mining so don't put any password and in the worker name put your Zcash address all right so we are mining on NiceHash it worked now I did notice that some of it get rejected even one time I saw a hundred percent of it get rejected I'm not sure what is the reason but I will definitely watch NiceHash it seems to be maybe it's not compatible 100% yet just make sure your efficiency is uh, high and not like 50% or 100% we're making 19.19 dollars uh, per day pretty impressive now let's go ahead and try to do some overclocking we are running at 11,000 uh, souls pretty much and so it's not 10,000 it's 11,000 on the box it says 10,000 who knows what happened there I like it though that is more than what it's advertised that's 10% more that's great now uh, to overclock again I can't really recommend you to do this if you burn it there's nothing you can do about it when it comes to overclock but let's give it a try we we'll start with um, very low 525 is the frequency we're gonna try so let's go ahead and apply it and wait five minutes again and see the results so I waited long enough and I find out that the best clocking speeds is 520 Hertz now you can definitely go higher um, of course it will void your warranty but I did notice that it's not very stable you could probably go mine 20,000 uh, uh, kilo souls and it's just not very stable and I don't want to burn anything yeah, I just received it and also the temperatures seem to be um, getting definitely higher and it might get too hot while I am gone in the garage and it's gonna be really really hot in the garage over um, the summertime and sun is really shining right now and I'm getting about um, 11.5 so 11,500 kilo souls so it's listed as 10,000 I managed to reach 11.5 it's definitely a 15 
8% increase, about maybe, I would say 5 to 8% increase from the uh, standard settings. On the miner, I actually, um, on the pool itself, I see it at 12.5 uh, kilo hashes, and it's mining just fine. The payouts are super, super low, 0.01 uh, Zcash, that's a few bucks, so you're definitely gonna get paid every single day, which is kinda cool. And uh, the fee is very low, so everything is pretty cool. Yo, this miner is pretty rocking. It's really low in power consumption. It mines pretty cold. It's been overnight, just to check that everything is okay with overclocking. Overclocking went fine, it does 520 uh, hertz, no problem. It can mine so many different coins, many, many coins, so you have a lot of opportunity and options to choose from when it comes to mining the coin that you want. And you can always mine it and convert it to whatever other coin you want. But it just gives you more opportunity to make profit because if any of those coins go up, you can mine that specific coin. When it comes to compare to GPUs, 1080 Ti, for example, does between 400 to 700 souls. So what, what I have here is basically a machine that mines the same as 10 to 15 1080 Ti's. Definitely an impressive and definitely the chip is very specific for mining Equahash and that's why it's kicking ass when it comes to GPUs. So obviously GPUs now are kind of out of the game when it comes to Equahash but you know everything changes all the time if if all the coins or some of the coins gonna decide to uh, fork and take out the ASIC mining uh, possibility there that might be a problem uh, even though it's maybe unlikely that all of them will do it so you can still be able to mine some of them for sure pretty much also there are still algorithms that only the GPUs can mine and there might be new algorithms coming up that will only be able to mine with GPUs they're gonna use like VRAM or stuff like that that will be more complicated to replicate with ASIC mining don't forget to comment something cool the comment that has most amount of likes that's gonna be on top of the comment page it's gonna get uh, some free Bitcoin cash if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that if you liked the video liked it if you didn't dislike it and as hope to see you guys in the next video, I'm trying to almost post videos daily. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.